Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, Microsoft has pulled 24H2 from release preview. So if you didn't see it, well, probably something was blocking it. But since Friday, uh, the uh, June the 7th, it is completely gone from release preview. So if you have installed it, of course you keep it. But if you try to see if it's there, uh, even if you toggle the switch, it says, you know, you want to have the latest updates uh, first. It won't show up anymore. Uh, Microsoft did say that the reason they, uh, so even if you turn on this feature, get the latest updates when they're available. Uh, if you have not moved on to 24H2 and you're on the release preview inside of Rings, uh, 24H2 will not be there. Microsoft says that they pulled the update. Um, they're not saying why, but in several blog posts, I did talk about it uh, last week and the week before, telling everyone, man, hold off before going to 24H2 because of different problems that I see everywhere. Some are complaining of blue screens. Of course, there was this little error message that I showed you how to fix that popped up uh, randomly at startup. And now there's a um, well, the several gamers that are saying that uh, their games seem to be crashing more, especially those using Steam and... Um, Microsoft, well, they're pulling it, but not saying why. So to pull it, that means there's enough problems that they decided that it's better not to update people right now. The telemetry they had kind of told them, well, you know, let's push this to more people, but it seems the telemetry sometimes is wrong, and in this case it was. I'd be curious to see if all the um, the problems are being reported also through the feedback hub. So um, don't go looking for 24H2 if you don't have it yet. Uh, through release preview, it's removed. They say it's going to come back in a few weeks. So they uh, really seems like it's not going the way they want. Uh, personally, I haven't actually. I'm gonna that gaming crashing problem made me think that I'm gonna try a few games just to see how how they go. Uh, but as of yet, I can't say that I've had any problems apart from that error message at startup. But um, we're going to go and investigate a little further in my machine and see if I can find if anything else can go wrong, including some of the games that I have. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.